coming in with a record of 10 and 3. As Chris Walker gets a start, Walker sustained a bigger injury in the Plano tournament. All kinds of bumps and bruises left over. Jeff Rowe is starting tonight, only playing at about 75% because of a badly sprained ankle. And you can tell he's hobbled as he comes out of the floor. We'll have to have a big ball game for the Tigers tonight from Mark Griswold, a 6'3 senior. Scott Matthews gets another start. Matthews, a 5'11 junior. And Matt McDonald. McDonald, again, if you're just joining us, Jim Flagg is out of action with a badly injured ankle. And the tip controlled by the Red Devils. Here's a jump shot from the left baseline by Bruno. No good. Rebounded by Rowe. So we're just underway at Prouty Gymnasium. No press for Hall as the Tigers bring it down. Rowe outside. He goes top of the circle for McDonald. McDonald inside for Rowe. And heavy traffic shot doesn't go. Straight. Full court man-to-man -man for the Tigers. Ball in there, bounded by Hall. Taken up floor by Engelhoff. Now off to Garland. Garland at the point. To Bruno at the wing. Back out for Engelhoff. He goes right side. Now they go back down inside. And a order. Hall with a press. It's kind of a token pressure at this stage. Rowe will bring it over the time to try right hand to dribble to do in the ring. Left wing to Walker, cuts back inside for Rowe all alone under and layup is good. That worked out pretty well. Tigers had the offense out high and Rowe got past his man and had a, pretty much an open lane to the basket. Garland at a wing. Out top for Bruno. Left side for Garland, jump shot is rimming no good. Rebound scrambled for and McDonald has it for Princeton. He's over the time stripe with the right handed dribble, goes to the corner. Baseline, Griswold, bounce pass in the middle for Matthews, dribbles through the lane, kicks it back outside for a jumper by Rowe, off the mark, rebounded by Hall. The Karen pulled off by 6-7, Jeff Close. Two 6-7 ballplayers starting. Eric Bryant will lose, use a lot of ball players as he has done throughout this uh, first half of the season. They work it around the horn, Bruno with it. Outside, almost stolen away by Walker. Now it is deflected off the hand. Me to tell uh, up here at this angle as well, but... Uh, all a little out of sync, it seems. Well, they've had a two-week layoff, so they could be a little bit rusty. There's Matthews left of the circle. Walk is open. He's the left side jump shot, and it's good. Princeton's lead is four to nothing. We're two minutes into the game. All controls. Bruno to Engelhoff. Inside for Peterson. His turnaround for the paint is good. Peterson, who averages... Just about 18 points the ball game. Nailed the first half point, and it's 4-2. to two. I remember talking about him last year, saying look out for him, and uh, he made that all-tournament team at Hall, and deservedly so. McDonald turns the corner, stumbles, falls down, keeps the dribble alive, now is out of bounds. You know quite what happened there. His feet just looked like they came out from under him. I don't think he got tangled up with his defender. Red Devils try for the tie. Princeton pressures. Red Devils have it front court. Here's Bruno. Rob underneath for Peterson all along. Missed the cripple and roll with a rebound. Yeah, that was just too easy for Ryan as he had him beat. So Jeff Rowe with a spin move at half court. He is still a little hobbled, you can tell. Walker from outside, a 20-footer, rimming no good. Over the back foul on Mountain Blue as the ball game progresses. Still 4-2, Princeton the lead. And just about five minutes to play in the first quarter. Engelhoff, reach in by McDonald, keeps it back on the floor. Rowe struggles for it, kicks it out of McDonald. That can't do that ankle any good. <laughs> I guess not, but he did a nice job, though. I have to admire him uh, a whole bunch for being out here tonight. The most valuable player in the Plano Turner will try a three-point shot. It's too hard off the iron and rebounded by Hall. Neither shooting, team shooting very well early. Red Devils come down under Hurley. Garland fires from their outside, ribbing no good. Peterson is there for the follow. No good. Another put back and a third put back, and he's fouled. A 195-pound junior. He's all... The second free throw is no good. Missed them both. Rebound row. Four and a half minutes to play. First quarter. It's a low scoring 4-2 count. Princeton with the lead. Throws outside to McDonald at the corner. Lobbing down low for a row. Half hook shot doesn't go. And of course, kind of remind you of the Caneland game at Plano. A real low scoring first quarter here thus far. Bruno dangle off yeah. at the head of the circle. Low shot chart too. Hall just one of seven so far in the ball game. Right side dribbling. Out of the baseline they go. Garland. Back out top of Bruno in the paint. Pull-up jumper hits the rim. No good. Rebound by Hall. Off the board and good. Close gets it to go. And it's a 4-4 ball game. 
So the Tigers got the first four points. Hall's come back to net the next four, and a substitute for the Red Devils. We'll see Joe Rudkins, a 6'2", 175-pound senior, coming in. Sitting down will be Jeff Close. 4-4 of the score, 3.55 to play. Hall with a full court press on the Princeton inbound. McDonald dribbles against Engelhoff over the strike. Takes it far side, turning at the baseline, brings it out top for Rowe. Kicks it over to McDonald between the rings. Inside pull-up jumper from the free throw line by McDonald is there. Mac McDonald scores for two. Rutkin hurries it up. Driving Bruno baseline, almost stolen by Matthews. Gets it back, takes it in, dumps it down for Peterson. Bank shot good. Red Devils know the go-to guys in the middle. He's got four of the Red Devils points. We're tied at six. 3.20 to play in the first quarter. Here's Matthews. To Rowe. Left of the circle. Now left of the lane to Matthews. At the wing and a whistle. You're listening to WZOE Princeton. Inbound pass. Slapped the way. Angle off will get the first quarter. Princeton inbounds. Walker to McDonald. Baseline drive. Pull up from 10. Hits the side of the backboard. And it kicks out to Peterson. Ahead to Engelhoff. Engelhoff in the front court. All chance to take their first lead of the game. Garland. Corner. Rutkins. Rutkins. Back out top. Engelhoff. Three-point try. It's good. Red Devils take the lead on the three-pointer from just off the top of the circle by Dave Engelhoff. Nine-six Red Devils. McDonald, that drew a cheer from the Hall fans who turned out in pretty good number here tonight. One of the bigger crowds of the year at County. Down low, Matthews, head fake, takes it in, nothing doing. Back out, jumper by McDonald is in and out, no good. Tipped up, loose ball, fought for McDonald. He'll put it right back up and it's good. Just had a nose for his own rebound there as he was able to stay after it. Four points for him. He's the leading Tiger scorer with some pretty good balance in the scoring column. Angle off. Garland, now Rutkins is open for the wing, rimming in and out. Peterson is there for the rebound, shoots over Griswold and gets it to go. Don't have the stats in front of me, but it seems like Hall's getting an awful lot of offensive rebounds. 11 to 8, the Red Devils have the lead. Two minutes to play in the opening quarter. Here's McDonald. To row between the rings. Looks for a cutter down low, wanted to lob it to Wonka. Now high post, Griswold back to row, driving inside, uses the glass, doesn't go, rebound Engelhoff. Kicks it out. Red Devils with the transition game. Down at the corner for Garland. Dribbles inside. Kicks it back out. Back to Garland. Garland brings it top of the circle. Lobbing underneath for Peterson for two. Red Devils on a roll. Leading 13 to 8. Peterson has eight. And a minute and a half remains in the first quarter. Boy, they're taking it inside to their money man, aren't they? Yeah, and uh, he's coming through for him with the four of the third, or eight, four field goals, eight of the 13 points. Throw at the wing, down under for Griswold, head fake, in trouble, baseline jumper, doesn't go. Tigers missing easy shots. Walker misses a cripple, gets it back, puts it in. It's still a nice weak side reboard by, a rebound by Chris Walker. A little trouble with the first putback, but was fortunate enough to get a second chance. The Red Devil lead is three. From outside, Engelhoff, long jumper, comes up short. Good offensive board by Walker as he boxed out well to McDonald. Under a minute to play in the quarter now. Tigers advantage two on one. Griswold pulls up, doesn't hit the jumper. Matthews over the back foul. Came back a little in the South Brewer. Steal on the inbound pass by Olsen. His jumper over the baseline is not there, and two Red Devils clear the rebound. They get it ahead to Houston, who's just come to the ball game. He started several ball games for Hall. Now driving underneath. Here's an underhand layup. No good. Rebound. Bought for it. It goes out of bounds. And so Princeton inbounds, trailing by three points with half a minute to play in the first quarter. Half court to Ross. This is his first action since the first game of the playoff tournament, and he gives it up. It's stolen away by Close. He gets it ahead to Houston, and here's Hall turning it over as the ball went through the hands of the Red Devils. Doug Chenault, who's come in. Tigers coming the other way. Inside McDonald. He loses the ball. Stolen by Hall. Houston ahead of the pack. Cross court pass deflected out of bounds by McDonald. Plays a little right. Pass to close on the inbound. Kicks it outside the jumper by Houston. It's an air ball. McDonald rebounds with two seconds. Can't get the shot away. Liberty ZOE. Pass comes into Ross. Dribbles between the circles. Houston steps in front of him. He gives to McDonald. Off balance shot on the free throw line. Good. He had trouble giving that ball. Managed to launch a good shot, though. 
He's got six for the Tiger 12, and Hall's lead is one. Houston out top, down low, but close in heavy traffic. He got the shot to go. Boy, a lot of points in the paint tonight for the Red Devils. Yeah, well, you look at eight points from Peterson. There's two, uh, four, two more field goals by Close. So, other than that three pointer by Engelhoff, they've all been inside the blue. Ross at the corner. Bounce pass inside for Rowe, uses a head take lead in, blocked by Close. And but he played the rest of the way. Didn't have a field goal in that ball game, but scored nine free throws in the fourth. Eric Bryan wanted to travel on Rowe's move uh, when he was surrounded. Both free throws are good by Rowe, and it's 15 14 Hall. Tigers led early, but Hall has taken the lead now and held on to it for the past three minutes of play. Lobbing underneath as they front close. He got the lob pass and puts it out and again. They had two men fronting him, and they still got him the lob pass. Well, close is becoming the go-to guy now for Hall as he's gotten two field goals, two trips down. This wall has a make for the Red Devils. Princeton inbounds, trailing by three again. With Donald Olsen just off the left side of the circle. Now to McDonald driving on Rudkins. His jumper is good. Matt McDonald's come out with a hot hand. He's got eight points, and the Tigers close within one, 17 16. Seems to have found something of a touch. At the left side, Bruno back out for Rutkins. At the free throw line, kicks it off to the corner for Chinot. His jumper is there, right through. Doug Chinot hits the jumper, and Hall maintains the lead of three. Griswold looks for help, needs it, has to get over the 10 stripe. It does. Now it's Ross, left handed dribble. Brings it out top for McDonald, just off the head of the key. Rob pass down low for Rowe, tries to save it, and it comes to Olsen. Good job by Rowe to save it. Back over to Ross. Ross controls inside for Olsen, pulls up, loses the ball, taken away by Houston. Red Devil transition game for Tiger turnover. Houston. Cross-court pass intercepted by McDonald. Open lane to the basket. His layup is good. McDonald cut off the passing lane. Stepped in front of Rutkins and took it length of the floor. Tigers within one, 19-18. Hall with the lead of the ball. Lob inside. This one wide for close. Stolen by Olsen. Six Hall miscued. Down to Rowe. Houston went for the steal. Missed it. Shot by Rowe. Rejected. Two players on the hard court ahead to Houston. His layup is no good. The follow by Rutkins is no good. And Griswold has it for Clifton. Tigers chance to take the lead. <laughs> Wild and Woolley into the corner. Rowe can't handle a team. Houston will walk the ball over the time slide. Matthews draws him defensively over to Engelhoff at the other side of the circle. Now down on the corner. This is Bruno. Out top, Chinot for three. Air ball just grazed the net. Saved, however, by the Red Devils. And Chinot gets it back. Here's a bounce pass in the middle. It's stolen by Matthews. And a reach. And Sanders and DeLue have been letting them play somewhat. Walker misses the free throw. Griswold gets the rebound. Turn faces the basket. Gives it back to Walker. Back down to Griswold at the baseline. Slapped away by Chinot and out of bounds. Row inbounds. McDonald from the corner. His shot is off the mark. Rebounded by Griswold. And the paint is up and doesn't go. But he is fouled here. 71% free throws. Mark Griswold will have one more. Still a chance to tie, and he does. Lower deadlock at 19 with 4.54 to play in the first half. Here's Rutkins dribbles the ball off his Princeton inbounds. Walk over the ball. Deadlocked at 19. Up to McDonald just over the time stripe. Bounce pass to the corner for Griswold. He's double team. Now on top for Matthews. Matthews right side of the circle for Griswold, for uh, Rowe rather. Inside for Griswold in the pass for McDonald. Rowe can't hit the shot, and it is rebounded by Hall. Bruno forces it to the front court. Takes it inside the paint. Now kicks it back out for Chinot. Angle off for three, left side. Too hard, rebound Rowe. Bounces to Walker. Still 19 all. Neither team shooting worth a darn. Here's what McDonald, left side jumper. It's good. Matt McDonald has 11. Or 10, and the Tigers now with a 21-19 lead. I guess there are exceptions to our uh, shooting tonight. Garland on the dribble. At the corner is Chenault. Here's a steal by McDonald. He took it away, cut off the passing lane again. His off-balance layup down as good as Houston went through the field and get it. Front court is Garland racing. Gets it down low. Pull-up lead-in jumper. Rimming no good. Rebound caught for. Tigers come away with it. Ahead to Matthews. He's ahead of the pack. Can he hit the layup? He does. He'll count it down. He's an 8% free throw shooter. It is good. And it's 26 to 19. 
Let's see what the Red Devils do coming off the timeout. Called by Eric Bryant. That was his first time out of the half. Lobbing down low for Peterson. Tapped away. 15 pound junior. 17.5 point per ball game average. Free throw in and out. Boy, that was halfway in. It came out. Griswold with a rebound. Get a lot of shots like that tonight. Walker left of the lane. Must be inside the circle to Griswold. Must be the warm, proudy Jim Air. <laughs> Here's a steal by the Red Devils nearly, but Olsen gets it back off the row. Rowe starts inside. Head fake. Baseline Walker. Back to Rowe. He's at the wing left side. Down to about three minutes to play in the first half. Lobbing inside Griswold. Double fakes from the paint. His shot doesn't go. Rebound out muscling Rowe with Chenault. And into the front court come the Red Devils. A bounce pass. Didn't even know if he added on to the start oh, of the game. Oh, he probably tonight. did it just for uh, aesthetics at the start of the game. One of the more dapperly dressed coaches in the area. Inside, they tried to pull to Rowe. Baseline jumper left side. It's too hard. Rowe off the mark tonight in the shooting game. And rebounded by the Red Devils. They get it ahead inside the team. That's going to be very frustrating for the coach. Ten turnovers. Walker into the front court. His bounce pass for McDonald's. He stops at the baseline, brings it out top for Olsen. Olsen, right side of the circle. Back to McDonald at the corner. Lobbing inside for Olsen, up against Chinot. Shot. I don't even know if they're shot. The ball got away yeah, somehow, and Hall comes away with it. Shot it, and it was blocked. Inside to Garland, dumps to the baseline. Jump shot is good. The basket is scored by Matt Hillstrom, who's coming to the ball game. 26-21, that breaks a dry spell with the Red Devils. Off to Rowe, he gets a pick, drives it in, doesn't go. Rebound, Griswold, power move to the lane, and up and in. Little shovel foot. That's a good name for it. We'll nice call move. It that. I wish I'd thought of that. <laughs> Can I use it next you time? You may use it, sure. Even if it's not one. We're a team. Garland, Chinoz, Hillstrom at the corner, minute 40 remaining in the half. Around the horn they go, jumps out, left side, good. And now the Red Devils may be heating up again as Engelhoff gets the jump of the go. It's 28-23. That, that's the spot Engelhoff likes, and he's missed a couple of times, or uh, several times. He's only hit twice now, but maybe he's starting to feel it, and they need to get a hand in his face. Well, like again, that. the Red Devils could be rusty after a two-week layoff. 28-23 is the score. Walk out, top of row. Row fires down low for Olsen, misses underneath. Ball goes, saved by Griswold from going out of bounds back to Walker. Good hustle. Now, Peterson didn't see Olsen rolling down behind him, but uh, Olsen missed it. Inside for Griswold. Shot rejected by Peterson off to McDonald. McDonald will fire from outside. It's too hard. Kind of off balance. Red Devils away. Angle off. Brings it front court. Three on two advantage for Hall. Hillstrom takes it in. Throws it across court, and it goes out of bounds to Hall. Straight out of bounds, but Griswold must have gotten a fingernail on it. Hillstrom gives to the corner now. Angle off. Back down to Hillstrom at the right side. Let's see if the Red Devils get a play for one here. They're working around the horn. Boy, what a depth uh, bench that uh, Eric Bryant has. He's used nine ball players. Really doesn't give up a lot with any substitute with a possible exception when he takes Peterson out. 23 seconds to play in the first half. Hillstrom. Play a little bit of catch with it. Now to Garland. Garland to Engelhoff. Inside for Peterson. He's fouled. This one is good. It got a front biggest lead with seven. Second free throw is good. So two free throws by Peterson. That's the Princeton lead to three, 28-25. Ten seconds remaining in the quarter. Matt Donald from the long range jumper doesn't go. Fight for the rebound. Pass comes to Garland. Garland in half court for Peterson. Let's it fly. Banks it in at the buzzer. A three-pointer will try it. 28 all. First half, Roger Lowe is remains seated on the foul-free ball game. Inbound pass nearly thrown away by the Red Devils, but alertly Peterson picks it up. Now they'll load up the offense. Gardner out top between the ring. He started the ball game, his first start of the season. Angle off in the corner against McDonald. For Bruno out top, back over in the corner. The jump shot by Gar Garland is good. Joe Garland gets Hall the lead to open the second half, 30 to 28. Ross will dribble it up the floor. He's still playing with a gimpy ankle as well. Left side, McDonald, pull-up jumper free throw line, blocked out of bounds by Peterson. There's a lob pass inbounds, kind of a lazy pass stolen by the Red Devils. They get it ahead, and a pull-up jumper by Engelhoff, too hard, crashing the board. The Red Devils, Peterson takes it away from Rowe. His bank shot doesn't go. Another rebound for Hall, and inside a basket is scored. Roger Lowe wants a timeout. 
called on crashing the board here in the third quarter. The coach and I were on the same wavelength. I was wondering if a timeout was going to be necessary after just playing 30 seconds, and it turns out he needed one after 44. Inside for Rowan. Heavy traffic is fadeaway doesn't go. Gets it back, poked away. Walker gets it. Now stripped to the ball by Garland. Ahead of the pack as layup is good. The Red Devils with a 6-0 run to open the third quarter. And don't forget the run that they made to make a swing at the end of the second quarter. This has really been a swing just in these last uh, two minutes of basketball. Tigers had a seven-point lead in the second quarter. Now they're down by six. 34-28. This is the biggest haul lead. Inside, Griswold kicks it back out for Walker. Rimming no good. Rebound battled for by Griswold. Overshoots the put back and rebounded by close to the weak side. Here comes Hall again inside. Garland will be called for going. You're on a roll. Six straight points and you want to keep the momentum in your favor. You may try to do a little extra. As a result, he couldn't stop his momentum. Walker, right wing, head of the circle to McDonald, inside for Griswold. Baseline, Rowe, Greg make that Ross, back to McDonald. Griswold, jumper by Walker with the corner is good. So Chris Walker gets a big momentum breaker basket for the Tigers. 34-30. That was a big basket. Engelhoff at the circle. Garland in the corner. Now they bring it back out for Engelhoff at the circle. His jumper over the free throw line. A rimming no good. Rebound row. Is at their benches. Of course, that was Hall's decision at the beginning of the game. Three-point try by McDonald. Rimming no good. Close all alone for the rebound. He was in heavy traffic, but he skied above everybody to get it. Bruno in some traffic, dumps it off. Here's a jump shot by Peterson, ribbing in and out. Post will follow. His shot is no good. Free throw all night playing at Rock Falls while the Tigers are idle. Post misses the second free throw, and Princeton has the rebound. Tigers are idle tomorrow night. Ball plays four games in seven days. Inside for Rowe. Double pump against Peterson. Can't hit it. Was intimidated a little bit. Put back by a Rook Griswold and a pump. And the free throw is good. Trained ankle and is out for several weeks in all probability. His second free throw, Griswold's is good. Having said that, though, Jimbo will be, with, uh, will be with us on the coach's corner with Roger Lowe tomorrow morning at 9.05. Hope you can join us. Garland left side. They work it around the horn to angle off of the corner. Back out top for Bruno. Now to Garland. For Bruno, free throw line jumper is in the air. Banks out of there. Rebound outstretching to get it was Walker. The Ross ahead the road drives the lane puts it up baseline rimming in and that's one of the few field goals he's had it's only the second field goal he's had six point of the game and Princeton's within one at 35 34 so five point run by the Tigers all with the basketball Garland down low driving for the baseline shot is up all kinds of players at the deck no whistle well basket is split I believe by Peterson yeah. it was, uh, after the shot where the entanglements occurred. Yeah, it was after the fact, but uh, the more important part was that uh, he had that baseline all to himself. Nobody cut it off. Walker fires for two for the wing left side. 37-36 as the team's trade baskets. Hall continues to lead during the halfway point of the third quarter. Walker now with ace. Here's Bruno, right-handed dribble. Lobbing underneath, backdoor lob. Basket by Close, in and out. Ooh, rolled off the rim. Hung on there for an eternity and fell out. Well, both Peterson and Close have backdoor lobs and shots that wouldn't go down for them after executing the play up to that it's point. Inside for Rowe, chance to take the lead. Can't get it, battling for the rebound as McDonald. He comes it out, clears it out. Takes it back in, shovel pass down low. Basket by Griswold, assist to McDonald. Princeton takes the lead, 38-37. Well, that's just sure determination there. Well, that's what rebounding's all about. Nice hustle. Angle off. Right side. Dribbles out. Garland back to angle off. Tigers in kind of a collapsing man. Inside for Peterson. The paint kicks out. Misses it. The putback is good. Bang that thing in, too. Just like that half-court shot. 39-38. <laughs> Nearly a steal. Close. Came away with it. McDonald from out of the circle. Three points. Good from the top of the circle. Matt McDonald. 41-39, Princeton. First three tonight for the Tigers. Three minutes to play third quarter. We've got a dandy here to open the 91 portion of the season. A crowdy gym. Garland at the circle. Engelhoff left side. Now they bring it back out between the rings. At the corner. Good ball movement by Hall. Angle off at the corner. Whistle and a whistle. Push off at the corner to grab a six-point lead. It was tied 28 all at the intermission. Now Matthews is back in for Princeton. He's at the right side. Between the rings to Walker. 
He'll dribble the ball to the near side. Back to Matthews. Matthews to McDonald. McDonald peers inside. Looks for some help, and he's fouled, and a reach-in on Hill. 2.25 remaining in the third quarter. The free throw by McDonald is good. The left, and he'll have one more free throw. It is good. And the Princeton lead is 43-39. I guess this has been a seesaw game, but each C and saw is kind of a big like one. Yeah. Hillstrom will take over the point. Goes to Bruno at the corner. Back to Hillstrom. Now to Engelhoff. Posting up inside is Peterson. They've got a Griswold fronting him inside. A lot of points in the paint for Hall. Chanel from outside. He'll fire from the perimeter. No good. All alone for the rebound, though, for the Red Devils. And the putback by Bruno. Did it all in one big swoop, too. And that's a nice positioning, too. Bounce pass high post for Griswold. Takes a dribble, fires from the free throw line. It's no good. Rebound Rowe, crashing the board, picks up a foul. Here's a steal by the Tigers. Matthews has it down low. He's fouled, and he hits for two. During the game. This time, it's also good. Well, that's how he scored his six points on the night. Red Devils get an extra box or two of programs out there at the entrance to Prouty tonight. 46-41, Princeton with the lead. Rutkins brings it over the... Time stripe now to the front court, lobbing inside, and a double foul. Oh, you want a little rules terminology there, but uh, it hurts because that was McDonald's third. McDonald on the defense now, turn around by Peterson is no good. The rebound comes off to Griswold. With 1.25 to play the third quarter, Princeton leads 46 41. It was tied 28 at half, but Hall took the first six points of the quarter. Lean in jumper by a row is good. That's his prettiest perimeter shot of the night. His third field goal, and it's 48 41, and Hall will use EOE. Ball with the ball after the Eric Bryant called timeout. Genote at the corner to Houston. Works it around the horn to Rutkins. Here's a jumper by Hillstrom. Good. Matt Hillstrom is doing what the Red Devils need most, getting some perimeter shots to drop. 48-43. Here's Rowe. Nearly stolen by Houston. Gets it back. Cross court to McDonald. Almost stolen by Rutkins. There's a little contact, but they're not calling that for the most part. Inside for Rowe, stops, lean-in jumper over the top is no good, and a whistle, and I don't think we heard the whistle. I, uh, we're too used to hearing those Fox 40s, and uh, these two don't use them. Thank you. 48-43. No well, I couldn't hear the whistle either, but I think he had a call. Tiger's in a zone right now, and uh, they have uh, given the Red Devils the uh, ultimatum, shoot it from outside, or really hustle to get it inside to your post players. 18 seconds remaining in the quarter. It's 48-43. Red Devils will play for the last shot of the quarter. Here's Rutkins at the free throw line. Kicks it back outside for Hillstrom. Hillstrom with five. Lobbing for Peterson with a turnaround from four. Banker no good. Followed by Chanel. No good. The quarter ends. End of three. The score for blind draw. Well, that's about what it's going to amount to be. Well, they'll have an educated guess, but it just should be later. We're not even half done with the season. And there's really no reason for it, I can see. No. Here's a steal by the Red Devils. Rutkins as he takes it away, lays it in. And the Red Devils score first on a Tiger turnover. First, and it's a three-point Princeton lead. First two points for Rutkins. That's how Hall came out in the uh, second half in the third quarter. There's another near steal by Houston, but uh, Griswold takes it outside for Rowe at the arc. Bounce pass back inside and off. Seven and a half minutes to play in the ball game. We're just underway in the fourth quarter. Princeton's lead is down to three. Hillstrom, left side, guarded by the Tigers' Matthews. Now to Rutkins at the corner. Back to Houston, head of the circle. Rutkins is open. Passes up the shot attempt. I think he wanted to. Now Chenault will take it baseline. Cut off by Rowe. Back out, pull-up jumper by Rutkins. In and out and rebounded by Matthews. That was a good shot, but it didn't drop. Here's McDonald going the other way. His layup is no good. Rebound uh, underneath Griswold misses it. He'll have another putback attempt that he's made all in half. 48-43 entering this period, and the free throw is missed. Second miss for the Tigers from the free throw line tonight. He makes amends by converting on the second one. It's 49-45. Here are the hustling all Red Devils. And to Rutkins, they beat the Tigers back defensively, and Rutkins gets it easy, too. There had to be a breakdown defensively for the Tigers or the Red Devils to get it down so quickly. Kind of stole that bucket. And it's a two-point lead and nearly a turnover. It is off against Earlville. He injured an ankle. And now Hall with a chance to tie or with a three-pointer take the lead. Six and a half minutes remaining to play. Houston lobbing underneath and fronting Peterson and taking away the ball was Griswold on the lob attempt. A lot of work defensively to do that. 
Walker drives inside, stops at the free throw line. Outside for McDonald. He hits it for two. Matt McDonald increases the lead for the Tigers at 51-47. 6-10 remaining to play now. Bounce pass. Chenault will fire for the perimeter. It is no good. Rebound out of bounds. There are two Princeton shirts around and one Hall shirt, but I'm not entirely sure it was a bad call. Here's Walker backing over the time stripe. Travels. Try to 7 all trails. Red Devils have the ball. 5.50 remaining to play. Houston right side. Lobbed in the corner for Chenault. Back out for Hillstrom. Rutkin. Corner. Houston baseline jumper left side. Rimming no good. Rebound. Boxing out well. Three Tigers were there. Rowe pulls off the carom. Now to McDonald, who will bring the ball up the floor against the pressuring Joe Rutkins. McDonald gets it off to Walker. Walk up, peers inside, gets it to the driving row. A whistle, a foul before. As long as it does to shoot him. Rose free throw is good. Three field goals tonight. The second free throw is also there. And it's 53-47. The lead's built back to six for Princeton. 5.20 to play. Engelhoff re-enters. He's at the wing. Now to Houston. Cut off back to Engelhoff. Rutkins drives from the left side. Little penetration back outside. Lobbing inside for Peterson. And he's four shooter. Second leading free throw percentage shooter for Hall. With 76. They got that with the first six points of the second half. Coming off a 28 all halftime tie. And Peterson's second free throw is also good. So it's back to a four-point Princeton lead. Here's McDonald as he works it up the floor with a right hand to dribble. Bounce pass to Griswold. Barely, nearly gets away. He puts it on the floor. Fans want a double dribble. Rowe at the arc. Tigers look a little confused on offense. Down low inside for Walker. Backs off. Banks it in. He collided with Peterson. That's not going to make the Red Devil fans very happy. Oh, they thought there was a charge there. And Eric Bryant really gave it to Jim Sanders as they went running by. Houston. Over to Engelhoff. In the corner, Rutkin's baseline jumper is in and out. No good. Rebound, Peterson. He fouls. Doesn't go. Rebound taps into the hands of Matthews. Outlets to Walker. Four and a half to play. 55-49 Princeton. The Red Devil fans have not been pleased with the officiating for the most part tonight. Can't say I blame them on a couple of calls. Rowe inside. Dishes back for McDonald. He's open. Jumper rips through the net. 57 on the official as well. And the Red Devils bring it front court. No press by the Tigers as they sag back defensively. Lobbing inside for Peterson. He kicks it back for Rutkins. His jumper from five. Baseline doesn't go. Rebound back to Rutkins. In some heavy traffic. Off balance shot. No good. Griswold the rebound. Red Devils just can't buy a basket. Ahead to row. Loses the handle. Catches up with it. Double teamed in the corner. Baseball pass out top for Walker. Into the corner for Matthews. Inside for McDonald, lean in, bank shot doesn't go. Rebound, Griswold, foul, Griswold. One plus one for Hall. The free sensational half-court shot at the buzzer by Ryan Peterson to net the ball game at intermission. Both free throws are good by Rutkins. And it's a six-point Princeton lead. McDonald needs some help in the backcourt. In danger of the 10 count, he throws it up ahead to Matthews, who brings it down against Houston. Now the ball slapped away from behind, but comes to Walker. Walker, right wing. Nearly stolen by Houston. Now Griswold at the corner. Hall scrambling desperately to get the ball back. Here's Griswold outside to the paint. Kicks it back outside for McDonald. His jumper is good. Matt McDonald's got the hot hand tonight. His best throwing performance of a, in a long time. 59-51. He's hitting the key basket. 25 points for him. Angle off to Houston for three. Long Ranger doesn't go. Rebound Peterson. The putback is no good. Rebound scramble for Peterson again. Been at the free throw line frequently here in the last few minutes. That's the only field goal he has in the second half. He misses this one, and the rebound comes to Hall. It's put up by Bruno. He can't hit it. Scramble for jump ball. All the triggered in by the Red Devils. Comes way out top for Houston. Just under three minutes to play. To Bruno, Houston is open. Free throw line jumper is too hard. McDonald with a rebound. Scramble for comes out to Walker. Tigers get a break on the bounce. He's double teamed inside McDonald. Turns and fires. Good. McDonald is unstoppable. 61-52. He's had an unbelievable second half. 27 points. He's just had a tough game all along, ever since the second quarter started. Rudkins drives the baseline far side. Back out for Houston lobbing, and a foul by Rowe. Round for both teams this year. The free throw is good. Ball for Eric's Bryant, Eric Bryant's ball club will need him in the most. His second free throw is good. 61 to 54. 2.20 to play. 
Rowe is hung up in the backcourt. Double team. Now almost triple team. Gets it up to McDonald. Down to the corner for Matthews. Bounce pass to Griswold. Gets away. And Hall comes up with a turnover. The bounce pass to a wide open man. Highest was too high. Here come the Red Devils. Just about two minutes to play. Lobbing for Peterson. His turnaround for the paint. It is too hard. Rebound tap back to Peterson. Now to Rutkins. His jumper doesn't go. And rebounded by Griswold. Boy, oh boy. I tell you. The Red Devils really struggling. Yeah, they're having a tough time. Just two field goals in this fourth quarter. McDonald's quarters. triple 54. This is Tiger basketball. And WZO at free throws here. I have a feeling that average will. Who can't take away from the night he's had. Second free throw is good. So McDonald gets one of two. It's 62 54. The lead of eight. Nearly stolen by Matt to Garland. Garland outside now for Peterson. Rather, Rutkins. He'll fire for three. Long range. Rimming no good. Rebound, Griswold. Griswold with flailing elbows. Works away from trouble. Up to Walker, who's all alone ahead of the pack. Layup is dead. He's fouled by uh, Less than 90 seconds to go. It is good. That is the biggest lead. 11, 65, 54. All in a hurry now. Rutkins. Way out. The jumper by Garland is good for three. And that gets the Red Devils some new life. Inbounds to Walker with a minute 15. Rowe in the backcourt playing with four fouls. Got to be careful of the charge. Now to Walker back to Rowe. Tigers have to hurry to beat the 10 count and they do to McDonald. McDonald front court with just over a minute to play his double team. Inside for Griswold. Now to Walker at the corner for Matthews. Back for Walker. Now Matthews, 55 seconds to play. Inside for Griswold. Shoot out a week from the round eye. Walker's free throw is good. <laughs> the second free throw is good by Walker. I, I think you mean the other temperature extreme there, don't you? Yeah, like it is here at the press box. Yeah, kind of. 67 57. Hall shoots it up. The shot is no good. Rebounded by Walker. Ahead to Griswold. He stops short of the time stripe. Gets it up to McDonald. With 40 seconds to McDonald at the corner. He's joining us. Flag is not playing tonight. A badly injured ankle. Free remains. Second free throw is good. And as long as you get one out of the two, it's okay. Here's Garland. He fires from long range. No good. Four shooting by the Red Devils. Peterson kicks it back outside for Rutkins. Rutkins a long range jumper. It is no good. Really bounded off the board right to row. He's immediately double teamed to the backcourt. And up to Walker, and three, and win their tenth in a row. The free throw is no good. County Regional as a result of this game. Both free throws are missed. Rutkins grabs the rebound. As it heads to Garland, long range jumper rims no good. Rebound to Preston. And he's going to be the free throw by Rose. The second free throw is good. So Rowe makes it 70 57. 11 clicks of the clock remaining. Garland will push it over the time stripe. He'll be allowed to take the three, and it's no good. And the ball's run down to the corner. Back out to Engelhoff. His three-pointer is no good, and that's the final DOE. If you want fast action, you want to rev it up, fix it up, or live it up loan from Eureka.